Hello everyone, in this video we're going to go over creating a stacked wall um, for uh, a stone wainscoting that you would kind of have around uh, an edge of a building. And we're going to show you two different ways to do it, um, and then we're going to go around and um, use the cornice tool to create um, a stone edge that caps that the top of that stone. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to go into our wall types here and we're going to edit some wall types. So I'm um, just going to look at these. This is the default template that comes with Revit. So I'm just going to I'm going to start with brick. I'm going to start with brick on metal stud. I'm just going to draw a wall here. And I'm just going to open up the 3D view by clicking that button there. And then we'll just turn the realistic on here for a second. So we have a brick on the outside there. So we're going to make a couple different wall types. So the first we are going to make is, um, we're going to duplicate this. We're going to call it exterior, um, we're going to call it stone on, actually we'll call it you know, two by six stud stone like that. So we're just going to change this metal stud to to wood. I'm just, I'm just going to type in stud and see if anything comes up. No. Wood. Wood joist, rafter layer. I'm going to change that to softwood lumber. And the nominal depth of a two by six is five and a half inches. So we have three quarter inch plywood on the outside. I'm gonna change that to five eighths. Or I'll change it to a half inch. It's probably a little more fair. And then thermal air. Um, we'll do a one inch airspace. And then we're gonna change the brick to natural stone. Might be down natural stone right here. So now we got our natural stone on the outside. So we're just going to duplicate this wall again. We're going to change it to, to wood siding. And we're going to change the airspace to half inch. We're going to change the this to three quarters of an inch. We're going to search for siding and clapboard. Okay. And then if you go into walls, if you go down to the bottom here, they'll have what's called a stacked wall. We're just going to go to edit type. We're going to duplicate that stacked wall, and then we're going to call it. Um, I'll call it a stone on siding. And we're just going to go into the edit type again, edit the structure. So the the top wall is going to be our wood siding, and the bottom wall is going to be our metal or our stone. And it's going to look something like this. Maybe we need to draw it first. Or actually, we'll just change this wall to the stack wall. There we go. We have this. I'm just going to change the top height to level two. So here we go. We have our stone. And I guess the next thing to kind of finish off the wall, we want to do a sweep. And we're going to add a bit of a cornice on here. Um, what did it do? It added. Yes, yeah, so we want it to look like that. This profile is a little bit big. Um, the profile is default profile. What we're going to do is we're going to go open. We're going to click the open button here, and we're going to go to. In the US Imperial, we're going to go to Profile. We're going to click 
Mm, there's a few different things we can click here. Profiles. Let's stick with the slab. Around that slab edge thickness. Uh, let's go with wall cornice. See if there's any profiles that look good. Probably not. Sill precast. That might actually not be bad. We'll do sill precast. We're just going to click load into project and close, overwrite, back to our 3D view, and edit this, and we're going to change it to that new profile we just selected, which is not showing up in here. The other thing we can do, and this is, I was going to do this after anyways, but if we go into profiles here, we're going to go to precast. Just going to click this profile for a second. I just want to select one of these. That's better. Right, so precast. Oh, that's that is the one. So it looks like that. So we're going to actually just go into the cell precast and we're going to click um, edit. And we're going to go to file save ads to start. So there's a family. I'm just going to save this into my own library. Sill precast. I'm going to call this sill stone. And I'm, I don't really want this chamfer here. I'm going to remove that. But what I am going to do is I'm going to pitch, probably have a one degree pitch on, on there. this three inches per second. So that is working. And set into wall. Make that zero. And then delete these other types here. Make height three inches. And make the width four. Just we want a little bit of overhang. And we'll just load this into project. Go back to our 3D and we'll just change this type. And so that's the, that's the best way to um, create a new profile for these. Um, and the other thing we want to do is we want to change the material. I'm just going to type in stone here. I'm going to probably use, for this, uh, for rendering purposes, I might just use concrete and that way it kind of renders as, as gray. Um, I guess you can change this to whatever uh, material you want, but that's how you basically do that. And then there's one other way we can do a stacked wall, and I'm just going to copy this over here. Um, I often do it this other way just because when you have a really complex project, it's sometimes just easier to do it this way. So I'll do a, a wood siding and then I'm going to go and draw a wall and I'm going to duplicate. Go back in here. We want stone and I'm going to duplicate the stone wall. And I'm just going to call it stone. And really what I'm going to do is delete everything but the airspace and the stone. So we delete plywood. We'll have to move this down before we delete that. Move that down. And we'll move that. We'll leave the membrane. 
membrane layer there too, I guess. We'll delete that. So, and we're just going to, we're going to draw this at, finish. well, I'm just going to draw this and then I'll move it in a second, but I'll just draw this along here. And we'll change the height, uh, unconnected height to four feet. Or we'll do it three feet so it's the same as the other one. And I'm just going to go back to my level here. And I'm just going to draw a section in the middle of this just to make sure the layers line up properly. And I'm going to go down here to fine detail. And I'm going to go up here to turning the line weights off. And really where we want this to land is we want this airspace to be on the exterior of the sheathing. Or something like that. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to join these walls and they will look something like that and then we can add that same cornice and so the good thing about this is we can have a lot more control over where the stone is placed on the exterior uh, and that could, that could be useful for a number of different reasons based on your project and we can just add a sweep like so and so if you had a wall where you had a step for example like so on this wall we can easily create that step and then we would just pull this cornice back to this point here and we would just add another one on top, um, like so here. Sweet. And I'm just going to go to modify here, use the align tool, align those right there, and then I'll just pull back. to there. So that's how you create a stone wainscoting around the exterior and how you add a cornice or a, a sill I guess on the top of that stone. Um, and there's I guess a bunch of different applications. You could do this for a paneling system on the interior of a room um, and uh, you could do this for a tile in a, in a certain area and like a bathroom if you wanted to have a tile so there's definitely a, a many different purposes for this.